But I don't talk about laws today. I talk about the praxis. To the presentation in the university, you should be, you should go there. But you should go uh, to the to the riverside, to the rivers too. Uh, you you take out your shoes, uh, or, or or you take on water shoes, and go in the riverbed. Go in the riverbed and only watch and look. The nature will will tell you a lot. It's not all written down in the books. Do what I get. Morgan, uh, so good morning again. Uh, it's a great pleasure to to welcome you, to have you here at uh, Sapienza University in Transylvania. And uh, uh, I'm very happy to, that we, we have this uh, working together uh, beginning from now to to the next week including on the workshop uh, with uh, the landscape architecture uh, students um, and uh, and I hope uh, today's occasion uh, will be a special uh, professional moment for uh, for them for uh, for us uh, and will be the beginning of, uh, of uh, looking at the certain matters, certain ecological <coughs> landscape architecture uh, matters, problems uh, with a uh, different uh, eye, with an opened uh, eye. So uh, welcome again and uh, I ask you to start your uh, presentation. Uh, at the end, uh, if you will have any questions, please feel free to, to ask uh, our guest uh, uh, Georg Hermannsdorfer. Uh, so um, let's start it, and before starting it, a special thanks also for uh, to uh, Klaus uh, Bifler, our colleague. Uh, uh, those the, the <coughs> students who uh, uh, don't know him or uh, haven't met him, uh, he's the one. He's from Turgumoresh Regin, slash Regin, and he's the one who facilitated facilitated this uh, this meeting. Uh, so enjoy this uh, lecture. Thank you very much for the invitation and thanks uh, for you coming today. Uh, so I have another chance to give uh, you a message about uh, rivers and creeks. It will be a very small invitation and uh, if you don't understand anything you don't understand, um, ask it uh, just right now. Uh, so uh, I will make uh, some paintings and you will understand it. It's uh, about the restoration uh, of river and creeks, of rivers and creeks. And uh, uh, in uh, consensus to the water framework, to the European water framework. But I don't talk about laws today. No? I talk about the praxis. It's only uh, the background. So return, we isn't by dear return. Ah, first uh, the problems. No? And uh, okay, I ask you, uh, for this situation, we have uh, both sides of this nice uh, creek, we have uh, nice uh, uh, materials. It's uh, natural materials. Stone is natural, wood is natural. You think the situation is uh, all right? It's a good situation for the creek? Hands up. Who likes it? Who don't like it? Okay. Uh, I tell you something. We make an excursion to the Wild West and the marshal uh, did take some, uh, some uh, killers no? and uh, cow, uh, cow robbers and uh, so the marshal uh, has to do his job and as it is usual in the Wild West, no? they hang the people. And they hang them very high, no? so everybody can see this was a robber and a killer. So there were five people and they got hanged very high. Five meters over ground. No? Five. And one, one of them, he was not as bad. No? He was uh, giving information to the marshal. So, he get better conditions. So the marshal decide, okay, 
he should be hanged, yes. This is usual in, uh, in the Wild West, no? but only two meters. So maybe we make here six meters. It's a three times, three times better, no? this guy. You understand? Six meter to two meter, it's uh, three times better. And what does it help him? Speed. Nothing. It helps him nothing. So, if you are here on this picture, yeah? <laughs> so now, now you know I missed the point because I should have told you before to this situation with the stones, we only take now this side. There was somebody building a house. That's a normal case which happens all the time. Eh? Somebody building a house, filled up this ground, and then doing stones. He, is a river he makes a river embankment, so nothing can happen to his house. And he makes this row of stones. Then, after that, uh, landscaping architects uh, done civil servants and from the from the uh, uh, from the community coming out and then big discussion and what happens uh, they make a compromise compromise yeah, compromise. they make a compromise and this happens often and they he has to take oh sorry uh, he has to take out. He has to take out this stone and this row of stones and, and, uh, and he can leave those two, those two rows he can leave. Yeah? This is the compromise. And this compromise are the two meters. Because what happens here, this is the most important place on the river. So we have a natural river and here we have trees. No? And what are doing the trees? No, they, they are with the roots, not only going in the soil, they're going in the water. So this part, this is the really special part of a creek. If you have a river like the, like the Danubia, no, which is uh, 200 meters wide, no, uh, the roots are not so important. But if you have a small creek, the roots are building the structure. Here are the bacteria, here are the algae, here are the water insects, and here is standing the fish. And if, if you take only out those two rows of stones, or maybe the, these two, uh, what will happen? In the end, he has to plant here. He will plant an artificial tree from the nursery, and the roots never come here to the water. Creeks, if, if you're talking about the ecology of creeks, you need roots in the water, most important. So this, please don't forget. i show you now. It's what the man. Ah, OK. Here you see it. Uh, these are uh, natural trees. I did write a few names in uh, Romania. Uh, it's uh, left side, it's a willow tree, special willow tree, old one, at least 50, 80 years old. And right side is a black elder. And both of them are really uh, forming big, big deep roots in the water. And this Exactly, you see the structure, you see the green line, no? what happens, the, it's the line of the, of the, uh, yeah, of the, so, uh, river bank. of the river bank, yeah, and the black line is the water running normally, so the water can't, ra can't go straight, no? it's going around the corner, <laughs> and uh, we, I will tell you later what, what can happen normally. So, 
This is a straight creek. Water is always coming same direction, same speed. And if you got, uh, if you got trees, no, big old trees, for example, no, water has, is, is going here very fast. And then where it's wider, it's coming slowly. And if there are roots, no, it's going even backwards, backwards. And uh, water is here with no speed. It's uh, standing. And the fish can rest. So you need different, the different currencies. You need the different uh, speed. You need a wider and smaller. And this all are doing the plants for us, the trees. Trees or, or even the weed. They are doing the job for us. They are building this structure. We never could do it artificial. So what am I going to enter? Yeah, and you uh, can think uh, what kind of roots uh, are this from which tree? Think a moment. And uh, if you don't know, but if you don't know, it's no, no uh, problem. But look how different the roots are going here. On the right side, what is this root doing? Here's down, down is where the, where the mud is is, is uh, the, the, normally the water line. If you don't have low level, if you have middle level water, this is the water line. The roots stop because this tree is a ash. It's very good on the, on the, on the riverside, but uh, together with willows and poplars and uh, elder trees, but alone it stops at the, at the water line. Eh? The root don't want to go inside. And left side, it's an oak. It's also a very, very strong root system, but stops at the water line. So, stay, it should be oak, right? Yeah. yeah. Fresin, so, root system. You see it? So, this we have to think uh, in our head. This is where we're talking by, uh, on the big rivers, we're talking about the, the soft, the soft wood, uh, meadow and the hardwood meadow. Uh, uh, you, you know what I mean? Softwood, this is popular, this is... Uh, 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 you know it's here. Okay, because I don't know if uh, my uh, yeah. translation was right. Yeah. yeah, okay. And on the small rivers, this is very close. Uh, uh, soft and hard, it's one. Eh? Soft uh, meadow and hard uh, uh, meadow, it's, it's nearly one. But on beside, beside the water level. So, the, the, the medium. Eh? And this is maybe low, low water, this might be high water, and this is medium. Eh? And uh, here, you have, to, you have to plant, or, or better, you, you let the nature plant by, by seeding. Uh, the right trees. And this uh, willow trees, elder trees, populars, then uh, 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 prunus padus. Understand prunus padus? Understand, yeah. All, all this stuff. No? But not oaks. Huh? But not oaks. Uh, and a little bit higher oaks. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you can mix it. You can mix it because I told you, soft and hard, hard meadow, uh, it's very close. No? Because we have only we have here only maybe here is already field. No? Here is already a field, no? and this is the this is the meadow. It's only maybe five, ten, twenty meters, and so you can mix it. But but don't plant only uh, ash and only oak. Uh, it's uh, they're not going deep in the water. But together with the willow trees, it's okay. So. And now look, what, what is this root doing? The right one. Going eh? to the sky. Eh? He's going to the sky. Going to the sky. Like, 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 <laughs> you know, like a child who don't want to go in the water. Eh? Mother say, you should swim now. Eh? We, 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 I learn you swimming. And the child says, no, I don't want to go to the water. So, and left side, what, what kind of root could that be? 
I told you before on the picture, what could it be? An elder tree. Okay? It's an elder tree. So, what, Alnus, what should you... Alnus glutinosa. Alnus glutinosa. Alnus glutinosa. Yeah, landscaper. Okay. Alnus glutinosa and here I'm a Fraxinus excelsior. So, what should you do? You should go to the... What's that? The fall is... Um, presentation. To the presentation in the university. You should be... <laughs> You should go there, but you should go uh, to the to the riverside, to the rivers too. Uh, you you take out your shoes, uh, or, or or you take on water shoes and go in the riverbed. Go in the riverbed and only watch and look. The nature will will tell you a lot. It's not all written down in the books. <laughs> Yeah, you have to go out, and uh, this nobody can do for you. If you want to be uh, later a good planning in water, you have to go in the creeks and in the rivers. Take on the water trousers or go barefoot, and only go there and watch. And if you do it better, you take a, a snorkel, né? a snorkel, and and you dive a little bit on the on the on the on the on the shore. Né? You dive a bit and you see the fish. So this is a good exam. It's good, uh, you know, übung exercise. Yeah. Okay. We learned it already. And what we see here. This is an elder tree, and it's uh, like, like both piles, ne? Like both piles. You you wouldn't get it with a stone. Uh, this uh, this uh, it's fixing the the river bank very good. Ne? It's, uh, and uh, the elder tree goes deep, deep in the ground. It goes in, in a, in a uh, uh, soil, no? in a loam soil, uh, and it goes there where always water is standing. No? Uh, even better than the willow tree. It can go through, through, through the loam. No? Lehmschicht, no? the loam. No, uh, Lehm. Lehm. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. And look what this tree was doing. Yeah? It's, uh, it makes uh, uh, the roots uh, building and sporn. It's a natural stage construction. The roots are. Um, so, so, if you have here the river. No? So, and this route is going to the other, nearly to the other side. So, the water has to go around. And this is like, like a construction, eh? like, like a stage construction, construction we do sometimes. It's protecting this, uh, this uh, river uh, embankment or this uh, riverside. And a lot of animals in there, plenty of animals. So now you see this is a, a willow carpet uh, from uh, Salix uh, um, fragilis, which is growing in this area very much. And I have seen here the best Salix fragilis. Uh, we, we have normally in our country, we have the, the crossing Salix fragilis, Salix alba. We don't have the really Salix fragilis, but, but you have it. And uh, you see the willow carpet. It's a, it's a really carpet, and, and if, you, if you take it with your hands and hold it up, you see a lot of animals, special camaros. Uh, maybe next photo. Yeah, ecological. Ah, uh, wait a minute, zurück. Zurück, war der da. Der. Yeah. Here, this is, this is camaros. Uh, uh, there are two, two, two species of camaros, it's one of them. So, yeah. So, uh, sometimes uh, we have to help the nature because for her we did disturb the nature, and so we have to, to, to build a river embankment. Maybe there are houses, there's industry, there's anything, there's a road, and we, we don't have a lot of space. Uh, to say, okay, the river can do what, what, what he wants. So we have to do it artificial. But if we do it artificial, we, we should do it in an ecological, uh, sustainable way. 
This is uh, a method for uh, protecting uh, a river bank, a river shore. And you see downstairs there's a, there's a roll. I'll show you later how this is built. And then we have uh, willow, willow trees, willow branches on top. And next step. Ah, okay. No, because this is, this is uh, the short lecture. Normally, this lecture is half day, no? and the other one is half day too, but it's one day. Uh, so uh, I don't have every step. No? Uh, in, the end, in the end, it looks different. Uh, I don't know how many things are going to happen. No, but we'll do it. So we have we have this roll, and then we have these branches here, yeah, and this is the river. So, and here are these branches, and we make we make out of this willow trees a sausage, and this uh, this sausage uh, with wire we we fix it. And this sausage comes now this way. This is a villa sausage, ne? and the next one. So to fix, to fix this, uh, this willow branches. And uh, the next thing is we need, we need uh, wooden sticks to fix it. Ne? So wooden sticks. Ne? And here is the, the, the willa sausage. And down are the willow branches. So it's just an example. So, and these are the roads. No? Uh, we're doing these roads inside stones and willow branches. We cut it uh, at the, at the uh, area we, we're working. So we take them from the riverbank. And uh, the stones are to make it heavy. The willow branches, uh, so otherwise you would get a, a ball no? if they don't have branches. And round uh, a coconut roll, a coconut, um, coconut net, yeah. So. Ah, yeah, and uh, here's, here's the other picture. Uh, it comes too late. It's this picture. So, you see it? How it's made? But you have to do it. Um, uh, engineering biology, as we call it, uh, is only learned by doing. Uh, you, you can't, you can't uh, learn it out of the book. And uh, here is another system, uh, wicker work. On the, on the, it's it's uh, this uh, uh, riverside where there is the erosion. It's always outside. Uh, imagine you are going uh, with the pop no? in the winter with the pop, no? pop schlitten, schlitten. Uh, You come here with your with your pop, no? and you, the, the pop always want to go outside. No? Always want to go outside, and here too. And this is the erosion side here. Here is no erosion. It's always here. So and this uh, this we fix with the wicker work. And uh, on top we have uh, 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 sticks, no? willow sticks. You put it in the, in the soil and uh, it will create new willow trees. Okay, the red line shows you uh, that we're normally building a, a terrace. No? Uh, terrace for, uh, for the riparian trees. So the, the, roots, the roots are really uh, on the right place. No? If, if we have, uh, for example, no? so you have, you have an artificial creek no? uh, and a uh, lot of problems probably with erosion and, and now you, you come and plant trees up here. No? And maybe this uh, three meters. What will happen? No? Tree is growing and the erosion is coming before the root reaches the soil reaches the bottom. Yeah. So we, we make sometimes, I mean it costs money, but 
we make sometimes a terrace, or yeah? well, most of the time this is the best. And then you plant your, your trees here, and the roots will come very fast to the water and fix the, 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 the riverside on, on this stage. Uh, it don't help up here. This, this, this uh, mistake is, is made so often, and in the end the community says, yeah, there was a planning and they, they planted, and, and it don't help. Now we take stones. Now we buy stones. Because it, because, not, not because the stone is better, because the other system was wrong made. So you see willow trees, how they grow. Yeah, this was a wicker work before, uh, two-year-old, seven-year-old, and you can take already new, new willows, uh, willow branches for the next uh, uh, restoration. Uh, yeah, uh, special for uh, Romania, because you have so much tufa, uh, tufa angustifolia, and I thought we'd try to do a papura roll, uh, I made it in my town with a colleague. It's not very good. We had eyes on the water and so it don't look very good, but it will work. It's going very fast to build it, cost uh, not much money, and you always have to know the methods, which method I use what for, for what. Uh, uh, if, if you, the roll, the roll takes time to build it. Uh, it's a good one, but I don't need it everywhere. If I have a very slowly, if, uh, floating uh, creek. I don't need the big roll. Uh, I could work with, with such a system and plant behind. Now it's always, it's only temporary. All systems are only temporary. In the end, the roots have to do the job. So we plant behind this roll. And maybe we can, we can try with the students uh, in Regin now uh, uh, for only a small part because I have no experience, but you have to try new things. Uh, it has also be economic. It's, it's not only ecological, or if you want to convince a, a, a mayor, a community, I, it has to be economic too. So uh, I'm always uh, thinking and working, how can I simplify the system? So development series. Okay, we see, we see uh, some development series. Uh, this was 1992, uh, when uh, I started and colleagues of mine, I, I was working in the water department as landscaping engineer, and at that time we were some uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, 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 the, kennst du den Begriff grüne Männchen from the Mars? Green people from Mars. Green people from Mars, because be, yeah, uh, because they were only uh, 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 um, uh, engineers, uh, construction engineers, and now uh, uh, colleagues like me were coming. And that was 60 years before, or a certain 1992, no, uh, uh, 60 years, yeah, no. 30 years. 30, 30 years. yeah, yeah. And uh, the situation is now, because we don't have uh, landscape. This is now here, yeah, 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 yeah. But still we are fighting uh, in, in Germany. It's not uh, all good. So, uh, because we have the problem, we have no place. Uh, Germany is much more dense populated than Romania. You have, you have the, the good thing is you have so much space. You could do so good planning. Uh, and, and we did all our mistakes already 100 years ago. So, uh, stones should come. This, there's erosion, the, the, the first picture. What to make Kunido here? It's an autobahn. Yeah, it's a, there's a, no, there's a, yeah, a road. A road is up there and there should come stones no? uh, to fix this erosion uh, of, um, uh, riverside. So, uh, but we planted only, um, only uh, Alnus. Alnus glutinosa, a very small one. No? They, 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 were, they were so small, they were only with the seed no, in the nursery and one year and we take them out. I always take small, small uh, plants. This is much better on the river than big ones. Big ones, you need sticks. The high water comes, the flood comes, push it down. So small one and, and plant it very deep, very deep, deeper than normal because if the erosion comes, the roots are not in the air. No? If, if, if there's no erosion, if they are depositing material, no problem. No problem, these are pioneers. These plants are pioneers. They need only one thing. This is sun. This is light. 
They need light. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and you see it, uh, 1993, only, only two vegetation periods and very big growing. Why? Uh, because uh, they are very much nutri nutri uh, with no nutrition. No? Full of nutrition, yeah. Full of nutrition, the riverbank. It's coming from the acres, no? from, the, from the agriculture. So, and you see what it's doing, 1997, this is an alder tree. Uh, you have, it's very good uh, for if you have a high water problem outside because the, the whole water can go through. No? If a willow tree, it makes really, it, it, it uh, takes a lot of uh, space away. No? Uh, so, uh, it was uh, so. If you plant a willow tree, it probably will uh, grow in this direction completely. No? And if the flood comes, uh, the water comes out. No? This is very good ecological, but not if, if there's an industrial uh, belt or, 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 or houses, a settlement. Then you don't want it. And then the alder tree is much better. The alder tree is up there, you know. So, and here the water can flow. Yeah? The branches come up there, up there. So, good. Uh, and you see 2019? Mm -hmm. 20 minutes left. Hmm? About 20 minutes left. 20? 20. I think 10? Okay. What, uh, what time? I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes maximum. So, uh, when is it end? Oh, I have, I uh, think, and we have how many? Nine? Ah, okay. Good. So, so and you see it, uh, 2019, uh, there is still erosion uh, because it was only one row. It's only one row. You need more rows. You need five to ten meters. Ten meter uh, river stripe, strip, strip you need. So you have more rows of trees. And they, the roots are coming together. If it's only one row, after some time, you will have, uh, 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 again, a problem and a small problem. And you can uh, solve it with easy methods. Uh, OK. Here, also, 1992, we, do, we did do this terrace. Then 1993, 2007. And uh, here, it's uh, the same view from the field. So uh, what we need, what we really need, is a, a 10 meter, uh, a 10 meter stripe. This would be really good. This is then you have no problem with the beaver. You mean the first terrace, 10 meter wide? Uh, no, uh, it, it not necessarily the first terrace. The first terrace can be small, but after a 10 meter stripe, even for the beaver, even for uh, holding back the nutrition from the agriculture. So a 10 meter, meter stripe would be uh, very good in Germany optimum because uh, 10 meter is a lot of space. Yeah, okay, practice training. This is what we have to do. So here we had this problem, left side. Uh, a farmer was uh, fixing the riverside with stones and um, yeah, uh, what, which wasn't allowed. And instead of uh, paying penalty, we made a an, an, an praxis, uh, praxis uh, 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 practical, activity. practical activity with the students of the agriculture. And they had a lot of fun. And this is with a uh, with, um, uh, tree, uh, a top, fir top. A fir top from, can be from a fir or from uh, Abies alba or PC Abies. Uh, if, don't cost much money, goes very fast. And you see 2019, eh? it's, it's still working. You see still the terrace. So, yeah, okay. We have seen it, good. Ah, yeah, sometimes we have done it with uh, pupils too. Uh, restoration, this was a restoration for a community. And uh, you see the people working. We were building. Wait, can I do a hit song? Irgendwie hast du da am Pfeil? Oh. Ah, okay, good. 
So you see this, this building made out of willow trees. It's a wicker work to, to uh, intentionally bring the water to the other side to uh, make erosion in the first moment. Bring erosion. So make out of a straight, uh, of a straight um, uh, creek uh, and, and creek who makes meanders. No? Meandering curves. Good. And, uh, yeah, and they had a lot of fun. <laughs> and they, you know what they did? They intentionally missed the bus uh, because they didn't want to go home to mom and dad, mom and dad, and uh, wanted still to work out there. Yeah. This was the best school day, no? ever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here uh, I'm working with students uh, as I did often, uh, landscaping students, and these are two roads here uh, on this uh, side. It was an erosion here, so and we have two roads of with, with this coconut net, and behind come the sticks, no? The willow. Okay, uh, it's uh, must be here. So, <laughs> okay, and we'll 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 camp the tree. It's only temporarily, but will hold uh, 10, 15 years. And after three, four years, you, most of the problem is done because the roots are already fixing the soil. Ah, landscaping students, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Okay, you see, as you see. <laughs> yeah. And here, normally, uh, the stick, yeah? We do it with the, with, the, with the excavator, but here we did it by hand. You see this picture? So, so handwork. Okay. Uh, it's better to do. You cannot hammer the. On the yeah, because it was too high. Not, not only for me, also for the others. And. Um, uh, it's often good to do it by hand like a, a, a carpenter. No? They are working today all with machines, but when he is learning his job, he's doing it by hand before. Uh, it's always important. So, uh, we come to the big rivers, uh, which normally is doing um, the water department. And as you see, uh, this is a natural uh, uh, river, left side, right side. It's always changing. These are mountain rivers. The, 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 the system is that they are, n they, they are always changing. This is, this is the natural structure, always changing. They bring a lot of gravel, and if the gravel is, is lying there, next flood will, will, will change, will change the, the current. It's the character of the river, of this river, not of the Danubia. Uh, maybe Danubia, Danubia, huh? the Danube. But this, this are, are mountain rivers, they come straight and uh, they load a lot of gravel after the end of the high water. And so the next time there's a lot of gravel, the next time it will go maybe this way. And sure, it has, it has a... a a few more arms. Eh? So this is the natural thing. So uh, Alpine River is moving. Yeah? Okay, so, uh, so and in our country we have the problem. Most of the rivers look like this. Eh? They are straightened by, by because we need a water power stations, uh, water power power plants in the 19th century for chemistry industry and these uh, things. You have a lot of uh, natural rivers, uh, we not. So we try, because of, because of fish, because of ecology, and because of European water framework, to bring structures in that. And the best structure is if we buy land and the river can do what, what he wants. So, and you see what happened. I go back. It looks like this, and a year later, a few years later, it looks like this. And we get what we want, the natural structures. 
the gravel bank and the different currents uh, and uh, and so on. So different currents means different animals means diversity means uh, ecology. How did you do it? With this, uh, we just did take away the river embankment. All we did was, you know. Uh, Here's the river embankment no, with stones. And we take, take out the stones completely. So, but you know, only for a few hundred meters and sometimes for a kilometer, uh, because in Germany there comes a settlement, there comes industry. It, it's very difficult what you should do uh, to erhalt, ne? To, keep. to keep what you have because not to do the same mistake than we did. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, this is uh, a special uh, uh, living area for uh, FFH, flora, fauna, habitat. Ne? Uh, we get it back. In this way, we get back uh, the, the, the flora, fauna, habitat structures with rare rare species so good yeah okay it's what my it looks now like this before it looked nah so what am i at the red line it was before red line was straight without gravel bank and now we have the gravel banks which are typical for this kind of uh, rivers and this is typical too on the gravel bank, dead wood. It's like with the Stone Age. They always talk about Stone Age, but in the end, um, uh, a friend of mine is, uh, uh, he is, has a museum about Stone Age, and he says it was a wood age. <laughs> Only what we find today is stone. <laughs> wood is rotten. <laughs> so, uh, not only gravel, we need dead wood. Dead wood is much, it's very important for the rivers, also for the creeks. Because there are all the animals. Yeah. Help for extra renaturation by external staff. Who was external staff? He was external staff. <laughs> he is doing the best job. No? We, we can't do it. We can't plan it how he is doing it. I have uh, uh, examples, but not in this lecture. Uh, what uh, Beaver has done with our plannings. No? He, sometimes he planned it new. Mm -hmm. he, he showed us we did make mistakes. No? <laughs> yeah, and this happens. Take out the stones and what we're doing uh, with the stones. Uh, we're taking it out from this side. No? Take out the stones and to make to 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 fasten the, the new uh, developing, we put it on the other side. No? Uh, comes here, the water comes here, no? and uh, we build these uh, structures. No? It's a wir sagten da jetzt erst habe ich gesagt, ne, als Sporn, ne, das uh, technical. Okay, and if you build it that side, water will come. No? Low water will go round, but high water will go in a right angle over it. Okay? Once the water, the water is here, it goes round. If it's the flat, no? it's coming here and in a right angle to the other side and makes here erosion. That's what we want in the beginning to get a natural uh, structure. Uh, so, and, and what should we do with the stones? We could sell it, it's, uh, or use it for something else, no? Yeah, so we help us ourselves with these structures. This is our only pilots, wooden pilots. And the dead wood, you see, was coming for nothing. We didn't pay for it. We put only the pilots because the flood brings a lot of dead wood. And there are a lot of species in there, uh, and a lot of fish, young fish, fish trout. No, not fish trout, uh, the small one, the young, the young fish. So, good. 
Yeah, this is a different structure because we often we have the problem because of the hydropower plants take a lot of water out of the river. So there is not much water left. But what did we, we with this structure? It's, it's a, a big tree, no? a big uh, uh, f uh, fir tree. Um, uh, it divides the river in two instead of the flat. Instead of the flat, wide river, we have now two deep, deep uh, streams. streams yeah. Two deep streams, and uh, fish need deep streams too, not too flat. Yeah, uh, and you see what happens with this flat. It's very flat, the water very low, and if if you build one structure, if you have a root, uh, uh, a rootstock like here. Uh, it's much more deeper because there's erosion and then you get a, a deeper water uh, hole. So this is also, it's made only out of uh, uh, wooden, wooden sticks no? put in the water, 50 centimeter wide, no? and uh, that wood comes from alone. Yeah, and uh, sometimes we cutting only, this is the easiest way, cutting only willow branches on the riverside, but only half, not full. So they're still growing, but they are now in the water and growing in the water, uh, uh, building a structure. You can also use for rivers to protect uh, the, the, uh, the uh, riverside. So... Ah, yeah, good. We have thing. We have huh? ten minutes. Okay, this is the last thing. Uh, urban, yeah. You got it. In urban areas, there is uh, the discussion about wall or dike. If you oh. so, so was he? Why do the actors do it? They go not put in. Mm. So, dike or wall, thank you. So, I don't know. so normally uh, in, the, in, the rural, in the rural area, you have, you have your river, maybe an alpine river, no? and uh, uh, here you have a settlement, there are houses, or industry, and uh, maybe here are some houses too, no? So, so egal. And, and uh, the, floods, the floods are coming in uh, and uh, cost a lot of money. So you build, in the, normally you build dikes. And if you're doing it good, you don't build the dikes here. No? You build the dikes here. So you get the, the hard and the soft, uh, meadow, it belongs to the river, it needs the flood. All animals, all trees, all plants need the flood. Uh, if you're doing that, no, like we did, no, uh, you have a big problem because the, the meadows is outside, don't get a flood. And uh, so if you do it now, no, if you have problems, always the dike outside. No? as far as possible. No? Build it outside. Maybe you have here the terrace normally. So, and here is maybe. So this is soft, soft meadow, hard meadow, and here is uh, agriculture, industry, uh, anyway. And if you build a dike here, optimum. No? Optimum. Then all the trees and all the plants and the animals are get the flood. You're actually protecting the properties and not making rivers smaller. That's yeah, the yeah. Because the pressure from the other part, from the authorities, is to have as much as possible buildable land. So yeah. the mayors want to make the dikes near the river. And here is the negotiation we'll have in the next years with the urbanistic plans and mayors. Yeah. 
And, and the next step is if you build it like that, yeah, not only uh, uh, it's a mess for the, for the nature, uh, for the, for the, um, um, to, uh, for, the me for the meadow, uh, also what will happen, uh, now here is no flood, everybody will, every mayor and every uh, no, uh, investor will try to build houses industry to here, no? and then, then even, the, even the trees will be gone one day, no? not only the meadow, no? so, okay. But in the ur urba, in the in the uh, in the town, right, in the urban areas, it's quite different. And I, I know what happens uh, if you go to the people and uh, in the town, and you don't have much space, and uh, you tell them uh, we need a protection against the flood. Then all want the dike because dike is green. But this is a paradoxon. I show you. If you want a green dike in the city, as a, with, there might be uh, uh, some cities where you have the space. But for example, now here are the houses, the settlement, and on the other side too, no? houses. And uh, here you have the river. It's already straightened. Normally in the town, or very often, it's already straightened. So it, you have here your river. So if, if I have this space, now here's a road. Uh, maybe here's a road too. I don't know. But I have only this space for planning, not more. So if I build a dike, it will look like this. No? And normally you need uh, uh, here uh, a road to uh, 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 a road before and behind the dike. No? This is the dike. No? So and in, in our country it's it's it isn't even allowed to plant trees on the dike. In Austria it's allowed in some cases, in but As you know, you know, I don't need to explain. Eh? And then you have green, green grass you have here. That's all you have. You can do it with gravel, so uh, very less nutrition. You get a, you get a, a, a dry, the Sachsen Magerras in English. A, 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 yeah? Yeah, a monoculture of gravel. And, uh, yeah, but uh, now we do it with gravel, with gravel. So uh, no nutrition and only three or four centimeters soil. So you get a dry grass, dry grass, how you would say, uh, which with many, with many flowers, with many flowers, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good for nature, no? the insects come, no? you get it, but this is all you get. The river for the, for the ecology, ecology for the river and for, for all the, the, the species living in the river, it's nothing, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, it still looks like that. Uh, it's, the canal. So what you can do in the town, uh, and it's not easy, you have to dis discuss this with the people living there, and, and uh, because if they, if they uh, hear the, the word wall, no? they will get excited. They don't want a wall, because everybody, if uh, you think, I think on wall, I think on, on, on cr concrete, yeah? uh, uh, so glatt, no? uh, <coughs> flat, flat concrete, like, like you go into the garage, ne, in the deep. So, but you can do the wall different, as you want. I, sh I can do dif different walls, but, but I only show you. I get this space, ne, this space. And this space, I can do a lot. I can, I can do something for, for the meadow, small meadow. I can do uh, something for the river. I make one riverside. Normally, the outside is deeper, the other is smaller. No? It's the low water, middle water, and the flood comes here. So, and here you can walk no? for the people for uh, yeah, Erholung, uh, no? uh, recreation. recreation area. Yeah, and and here you can plant trees. Or. Wheat, 
or shrubs, no? anything you can do. You see it here, it's better. No? So this you have to know, no? uh, because uh, even if there is a, 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 a flowers, no? but, but it's, you know, it's had nothing to do with uh, natural or nearly natural, natural uh, river. Lost space, yeah. Look, uh, this was when I started my work in the water department in Traunstein. This was already built left side. So. And the right side, I want to, wanted to build it in the same way, even uh, 2000 and uh, I think it was 2010 or anything. In 2010, and it cost so much energy uh, to, to do it that way. I did it, or we did it, not me alone. And you see, we got a gravel bank. Otherwise, the, the right side would look like the left side. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and this is, is, no, <laughs> this is not the good grass, uh, I told you, the, what we want, no? the, the low nutrition grass. At that time, they, all, they, they, they did take 20 centimeter uh, soil on top of the gravel. Yeah. Inside the dike, you have always gravel. Yeah, and uh, the best recreation areas are on the river. It looks now like that. So people can go there, can... Uh, in the town, ecology is not the first point. It's the recreation area too, ne? Uh, for the people. Outside, we want uh, 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 to do something for nature, but inside, for both. Ne? Here, you see, is out behind the trees is the wall, and this is why we could, we could get this space. Yeah, yeah. I except if some towns have space. No? If, if I have a f a 200 meter space, I, I'm building a dike. No, no problem. But if I have only, only this space I showed you, as it is often in, 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 in uh, very uh, overcrowded uh, towns, then it's better. So you have to decide. No? 